So you're thinking about a new home or self-defense gun. Something outside the box of just your normal handgun. Well, stick around. We're going to give you a couple ideas on what they could be. What's going on, Ghost Squad? Trey here with Ghost Tactical on a gray and extremely windy uh, day at the range. But I wanted to talk about, a, do a video that haven't, hasn't really been done before. There are a lot of videos out there that talk about home and self-defense, whether it's inside the home or a truck gun or whatever. And the, the normal suspects get thrown around. Obviously, you've got uh, handguns and shotguns. And then you start talking about ARs and all that good stuff. Well, what I've talked about today are two weapons that are viable options for home slash self-defense uh, that may, many people might not think about. One of them is the AK pistol, and the other one is a pistol caliber carbine. Uh, we're going to go over a, both of these weapons and talk about the advantages and maybe the disadvantages of each. All right, so the first gun we're going to talk about is an AK pistol. A lot of people have uh, AKs that may not be aware of the AK pistol. A lot of people have AR and AR pistols, but if you like the AK platform and you're looking for something that could be used as a truck gun or even home defense, this is going to be a pretty viable option. All right, so guys, the AK pistol. This is a Stava uh, M92. Um, it's imported from Serbia. It's a great, great gun. Uh, typically, the pistol ends right here. So it is a very short pistol. We've obviously added the brace. Uh, this will help with uh, securing it, making sure that you're getting a little more accuracy, a little more stability with it. Uh, you do not have to have this. All right. Um, the great thing about this is you're still getting the power of the 7.62 round, uh, but being a much shorter barrel and a shorter gun, you're not going to have as much penetration in the home defense realm if that's what you're worried about. We've already done a review on this, so I'm not going to go in too much, uh, except for the fact that the, um, the maximum effective range of this is between 200 and 250 meters. Um, it's its rate of fire and muzzle velocity is about 2200 feet per second so it does give plenty of power you are using the 7.62 uh, rounds and the great thing obviously is you're going to be using the uh, AK-47 magazine which is going to give you a lot more rounds to deal with in a home or self-defense uh, great gun um, a lot of people will say that it is maybe too powerful for the home and that's just something you're going to have to think about what, how your home is built. Is it built out of stucco? Is it built out of brick? Or is it wood? Uh, that is something that's going to be up there. But this is a great option, especially if you like the AK platform and you're looking for an AK that could be a home defense rifle that's not full size. This is obviously going to be a great, great choice. The next one we're going to talk about, guys, is a pistol caliber carbine. My personal preference, the one that I have, is the Beretta CX-4 Storm. Uh, I have it in 9mm. Uh, this is a really lightweight gun. Uh, you know, it's a little bit longer than this. It's going to be much longer than the AK if you take the brace off. But it is lighter weight. Uh, the great thing about the Beretta CX-4, we've already done a review on this, but we'll go over it again, it is ambidextrous. Um, the thing that probably people are going to think about when it comes to uh, using this for uh, inside the house home defense gun is one, it's ambidextrous, but two, uh, you use 9mm rounds, okay? Or you can get this in a 40 or a 45. So uh, the great thing about this is you can share ammo with your handgun. And if you have a Beretta 92, then it does share magazines with the Beretta 92. But if, you're, if you have a 9mm at home or a 40 or 45, you can get this gun in all three calibers and you can share ammo. The difference is with the AK-47, you're using a 762 by 39 round. Here you can use a 9mm, a 40, or a 45. But you can share ammunition inside the house, which a lot of people like. Um, as far as uh, muzzle velocity, you're looking at about 1,400 um, feet per second with a max range, effective range 
of 100 to 150 meters. So you're not getting as much range as you are out of the AK pistol, but if you're talking home defense, you're probably not going to be shooting at 100 meters anyways. You're probably shooting uh, 30 feet, uh, 30 to 40 feet at the most. So each one of these weapons have extreme advantages and extreme disadvantages over the other. These two weapons are typically not thought of as home or self-defense, but I think they are extreme viable options for both. What we're going to do now is we're going to go out and we're going to shoot out the range and kind of show you uh, how effective they are and we're going to stand probably about 35 feet, okay? 35 feet is probably the maximum of what you're going to be talking about in a home defense scenario. Uh, if you're looking to use these as a truck gun, then you have obviously a lot more ranges to worry about in the open, in the open field and open uh, ranges. But at home, we're talking, you know, 20 to 40 feet max. So we're probably going to start shooting at about 30, 35 feet, and we're going to do an accuracy test. So let's get shooting. All right, guys, I really hope that you enjoy the shooting and, and, and the quick review and some possible ideas of thinking outside the box when it comes to home and self-defense. Either one of these guns right here will be viable options for inside the house and obviously in the truck. They're both small enough that you can get through the house or put them and hide them inside of a, a vehicle very, very easily. They're also going to scale back their muzzle velocity to the full-size uh, full rifles to where you can get something to, uh, that might not penetrate outside the walls as easily as a full-size AR or a full-size AK-47. So these are two very, very good options for home and self-defense. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I want to thank you guys for continuously supporting Ghost Tactical. We invite you to check out our website at www.ghosttactical.us that has all of our ventures, including Patreon, Vidme, Facebook, Instagram, and all that stuff. Guys, thanks again for watching. And if you have any questions whatsoever, please email us at Trey at ghosttactical.us. Any questions, anything you guys want to see, let us know and we'd love to do it. Until next time, Semper Fi. Hey guys, Ghost here. Just want to say thank you for watching this video and your continued support of the channel. Please check out our website, www.ghosttactical.us, to see all of our ventures, including Patreon. We also invite you to check out gunchannels.com. Once again, thank you for your support. Until next time, Simplify.